Hi friends, it's Bob and Fran, your hosts for Plant-Based Q&A, where we answer your questions about the vegan lifestyle. And today, we got a really good question from Chris in Milwaukee. And Chris asks, what are some super easy recipes for when I am busy or when I am lazy? And I think that's a pretty good question. So we picked out a few for you. And Fran, what's the first one you want to give us? Okay, I'll share a few recipes with you that are really easy. You know, a lot of people are concerned that it takes too too long to prepare plant-based uh, recipes. Not, not necessarily the case. The first one I call the three can chili. Very simple. Open up a can of black beans, rinse them and drain them. Uh, open up a can of corn and drain it. and uh, take a cup of your favorite salsa, mix all three together and warm them up in a pot and you have three canned chili. Really tasty and easy to make. Yeah, it's really good. We have it uh, once in a while when Fran gets really busy. So the second super easy recipe is a burrito. So tell us about it. Okay. First of all, what I like to do is always have cooked rice in the fridge. To brown, have. brown rice. Brown rice. Yeah. I use short grain brown rice. I do it in an instant pot. It's real simple, but if you don't have one, you can do it uh, on a stove. Very that hard to do at all. And then uh, what I do is I take a cup of the rice, the cooked rice, and a, a can of the black beans like I used for the other recipe, drained and rinsed, mix them together with a salsa. And you can either eat it that way plain it's delicious, or you can roll it in a burrito, you can make a quesadilla or an enchilada, whatever you want with it, but it's a really good um, combination and it's very filling and healthy. That, that one we love. Yeah. I, 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 we eat a lot of Mexican food. <laughs> so an Asian stir fry, okay. always good for me. Tell us okay. about it, Fran. Okay, what I like to do is cut up uh, in bite-sized pieces the veggies that I have in the fridge. It could be uh, whatever you have on hand, uh, onions and mushrooms and uh, other green vegetables, whatever you have, and uh, stir fry them. Now, by the way, I don't use oil for stir fry. I just use some water or vegetable broth. And after it's all cooked, um, what I do is I take, uh, what I like to use is either a, uh, a Chinese sauce or a Thai sauce, whatever Asian sauce you like, mix it in. And uh, you've got an Asian stir fry. You can serve that over rice. So those sauces, you can buy those in a yeah, supermarket. Yeah, in a supermarket, Asia. right. Well, the next is quinoa. One of these days, mm -hmm. I'm going to learn how to spell quinoa. Well, at least you know how to say it now. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about your quinoa salad. You know, quinoa is looked upon as a grain, but it's really a seed. But it's really healthy and it's delicious and very simple. You cook the quinoa according to directions and you can buy any kind you want. It could be red or uh, plain, whatever you want. Cook your quinoa and set it aside till it cools. Then take, take some quinoa, put it in a bowl, cut up some vegetables of your choice. It can be peppers and uh, green onions and uh, whatever vegetables you like and put that in the bowl. Mix it all up. And add, I love to use umi plum vinegar. It's oil-free, but really tasty. And before you're ready to serve the salad, you can add some um, raw walnuts broken up and some chopped lettuce. Makes a delicious salad, either as a main course or as a side salad. Yeah, I really like it a lot. I, I, we really uh, didn't eat a lot of quinoa, but in recent years, <laughs> yeah. man, it is darn good. Yeah. So we have one more recipe, and uh, it's a fried rice uh, recipe that's perfect for dinner or lunch as well. Right. Again, the rice that you have in the fridge can be used for this. Um, you, cook, you stir fry some vegetables, again, in water or vegetable broth. And after the vegetables are stir fried, you can add... Um, I like to add fresh pineapple cut into chunks oh, yeah. and mix that in. And you can put in some tofu if you like. And after it's all mixed up, uh, add your rice. And you can add your sauce, whether it's, um, I like to use Thai 
um, sauce. There's a Thai sauce that's delicious, or you could use, um, I use liquid aminos, which is just like soy sauce, except it's much, much lower in sodium. So there you have it. Five really good, super easy recipes. Chris, I hope you start cooking with these. And uh, uh, for everyone watching, we'll have these recipes in the description section below. So uh, you can always uh, see it there. And by the way, if you have a question for us, just go to our website at www.bobnfran.com and uh, just hit the contacts, contact us, send your question to us, and maybe we'll make a video. Just for you. That. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for supporting us and subscribing, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.